Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Uh, now we are talking about intrauterine growth restriction. I mean, there is a, a restriction in the growth of uh, the uh, the fetus. Okay, so what is happening uh, when, when we call it intrauterine uh, growth restriction? When the the uh, weight of the fetus uh, is almost 10% of the gestational age. So this is considered as the IUGR. Okay, so the the infant is uh, very small. So you can see here, uh, this is due to intrauterine growth restriction. Okay, so there are two types. One is symmetrical, and other is the asymmetrical. So, uh, the most common is the asymmetrical. Um, uh, the it uh, it is uh, almost 80%. While symmetrical is the 20%. Uh, uh, there is growth restriction. If you look at here, this is picture. For example, here is a head, and here is the abdomen. Normal head, normal abdomen. Okay. When there is growth restriction, either it would be asymmetrical, mean the, the head is going to be smaller and the abdomen is also smaller. Okay, so this is uh, the symmetrical. This is symmetrical, means uniform reduction uh, in the head and the other body. May, uh, you, uh, you can compare it by looking at the, uh, the abdominal uh, circumference and the head circumference. Okay, so uh, in the asymmetrical, uh, the blood supply to the head is the intact so the so that's why the the growth of the head or the brain is normal while the body uh, is uh, restricted okay so there is small abdomen you can check out by uh, the abdomen circumference uh, other thing uh, you should note that uh, if, uh, the the normal brain is almost three times more than the liver size okay but in the the asymmetrical iugr it would be five to six times more than the liver because uh, the the other body is the restricted while the head is normally growing. Okay, so in the asymmetrical uh, condition, the uh, the brain is normal, while in the symmetrical, the brain is also compromised. Okay, uh, yeah, the symmetrical is early onset and it's uh, mostly due to fetal cause or intrinsic mean. Uh, it's uh, mostly due to uh, chromosomal anomalies or infection in utero, while the asymmetrical is late onset and uh, it's uh, uh, mostly uh, due to uh, the maternal condition. For example, utero placental insufficiency means the, the there is insufficiency of blood uh, from mother to the uh, the fetus. Okay, so this is uh, uh, this uh, lead to asymmetrical. Uh, intrauterine growth restriction. So this is 80% unequal late onset and it's a maternal cause. Okay. And the prognosis and if you see here, so this is the uh, the uh, utero placental insufficiency to show here. Okay. And the uh, but the prognosis of the asymmetrical is good as compared to the symmetrical. Okay. If you look at the symptom, you will see the small size abdomen. Uh, I mean less than the uh, period of amenorrhea uh, and if you look at sign so it depends upon the cause so uh, uh, if there is chromosomal anomaly you will see uh, those sign for example trisomies uh, or uh, the their infection sign so depending upon the cause okay and there is some generalized which is abdomen if you look at the abdomen in the uh, uh, the IUGR so there will uh, the very low uh, the uh, the femur length Femur length actually define the, this is a femur length, it, it's actually uh, the best accurate test or you can say for the uh, measurement of gestational age. Okay, so compare if it's uh, uh, very small, so mean there is a growth restriction. And the other thing is the, uh, the symphysis, uh, symphysial uh, fundal height. So if it, this is low, mean there is a growth restriction. Uh, normally what is happening uh, as, as uh, the uh, pregnancy continue so the fundal length is, uh, length is going to increase 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 by the week week by week and uh, we can uh, uh, measure from the uh, uh, pubic symphysis level and if it's very low uh, mean there is a growth restriction okay because it actually uh, associated with the fetus length Okay, so if there is growth restriction of the fetus, I mean uh, the fundus level height will be very small. Okay, and the, what investigation you should do? Uh, first of all, you should do investigation for the infection cause or the, the placental and uh, to rule out the etiology.
Okay, because for the main treatment in the intrauterine growth is the treat, treat the etiology. Okay, and the other thing, proper pregnancy dating uh, uh, from LMP, I uh, mean last menstrual period, but not the ultrasound. Okay, because it's uh, not suggesting uh, normal in this condition, so LMP is uh, uh, the better chance. Okay, and the other is the, uh, the SFH, uh, I mean, if a uh, symphysal fundal height, if it's uh, less than 2 centimeter between 20, uh, 20 to 34 weeks, means it's a, a, a poor growth condition. Okay, and the ultrasound to assess the fetus, uh, fetal growth. So, in the symmetrical, you should uh, check out the, the BPD, I mean, uh, bipedal diameter, femur length, the head circumference. And uh, the abdominal circle in the uh, symmetrical, uh, this uh, these R values are uh, these are parameter are low. In the a, in the asymmetrical, so BPD, uh, the femur length, HC, these are normal. But uh, uh, if you look at the ratio of head and uh, compare with the a, uh, the abdomen, so it's a uh, higher. Okay. And uh, if you uh, go for the management, the management first uh, treat the etiology. Other is uh, look at the the, uh, the stage. If it's near the term, so go for the delivery. Okay. If it's away from the uh, term, assess the fetal condition. Uh, so try to uh, manage the, the condition uh, until the the uh, the fetus reaches 34 weeks. Then go for the delivery. If uh, there is a uh, the uh, compromisation of uh, fetal well-being, then uh, uh, of course go for the termination of pregnancy because it's a, uh, it can affect the mother. Okay, uh, in the asymmetric, check for the, the, uh, the uh, if there is abnormal fetal surveillance, of course go for the immediate termination of pregnancy. Okay, so delivery, try to deliver the fetus after 34 weeks, but if the, the condition is compromised or there uh, abnormal fetal surveillance, then uh, you should go for termination before 34 weeks. Okay, so uh, th these are different uh, parameters you can check out by the the, the ultrasound. Uh, the first is the bipedal diameter. This is, you can see here bipedal means it's uh, uh, the 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 fetus head. So parietal level. So diameter. It uh, uh, and the other. Uh, this is the, the head circumference. The and the here is the the abdominal circumference. Okay. So and then you can compare the either it's symmetrical or asymmetrical. Okay, uh, and the, and the abdominal circumference is the, uh, the you can say uh, more suggestive of our intrauterine growth restriction because in uh, the abdominal circumference uh, is decreasing either it's a symmetrical either it's a the asymmetrical. In both conditions, the abdominal circumference is decreasing, which is more suggestive toward the IUGR. Okay and the, because the head circumference is intact in the asymmetrical condition. Uh, usually before 34 weeks, uh, the head circumference is greater than the, uh, the abdominal circumference, but after 34, it's the reverses. Okay, so in, here is a femur length. You can check out because this suggests the uh, accurate test for the, uh, you can say for the gestational age. Okay, accurate gestational age. And uh, the uh, here in Doppler, Doppler umbilical uterine artery Doppler, it's abnormal in the IUGR. Mean uh, there is a placental insufficiency. Okay, yeah, Doppler define what it actually show the the vascularity. So if uh, uh, the the blood is compromised, so this should be the abnormal. Okay, and these are the different parameter uh, the gestational age, and these are parameter and. Uh, uh, 16 week to 40 weeks. So what are what is happening with bipedal? What is happening to abdominal circumference? Femur length. Okay. So this is the other graph which also show the the head circumference, BPD and AC, and the average and mean values. Okay. So so these are the different uh, the uh, the etiologies. So mostly most common is the placental insufficiency and other are 5% uh, mother and fetal are also other 5% uh, the fetal infection are only 1% so these are uh, etiology for the symmetrical these are etiology um, maternal you can see vascular chronic renal disease hypoxia so these are most of them are the maternal and here these are the fetal 
chromosomal congenital anomalies, fetal infection, poor maternal uh, weight gain, so skeletal anomalies. So these are um, uh, intrinsic. Okay. So this is uh, a comparison chart. You can see the, uh, there is uh, more favorable prognosis in the asymmetrical, but it's a later onset. And uh, here you see the hypertrophy usually. Uh, the, there is impaired cellular hypertrophy, while here is impaired cell division. So there is a decreased cell number. So here decrease the cell size. Okay. So this is all about the uh, the IUGR. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.